we're always trying to implement laws because we're thinking about the others who have passed away behind my brother. Systemic racism is a set of racialized norms that have been embedded in our law, our policy, our practices. And what it's done is really licensed atrocity. The status quo is untenable. Systemic racism needs a systemic response. We need a transformative approach that tackles the interconnected areas that drive racism and lead to repeated, wholly avoidable tragedies like the death of George Floyd. When we're talking about transformative change, we're talking about disrupting a system that has defined our modern global economy, that has defined our modern transnational relationships. We see it in alienation from ancestral lands and in general poverty and marginalization. We see it in racial profiling, including at international borders, just on the basis of skin color. We see it in anti-black hate speech, police violence, and even the taunting of black players at football games. And right now, in this time of COVID-19, we are seeing it in unequal access to vaccines and health care. I'm calling on all states to stop denying and start dismantling racism, to end impunity and build trust, to listen to the voices of people of African descent, and to confront past legacies and deliver redress. So part of the uh, reversing of a culture of denial needs to start with acknowledgement. It needs to start with a commitment to accountability. It needs to start with an understanding of the right to reparations, which is, which is an internationally recognized human right. States must show a stronger political will to accelerate action for racial justice, redress and equality through specific time-bound commitments to achieve results. This will involve reimagining policing and reforming the criminal justice system, which have consistently produced discriminatory outcomes for people of African descent. Only approaches that tackle both the endemic shortcomings in law enforcement and address systemic racism and the legacies it is built on will do justice to the memory of George Floyd and so many others whose lives have been lost or irreparably damaged.